Okay, cooking up our mixture right here. This is half and half vinegar and water. This is 16 ounces of water, 16 ounces of vinegar, one cup of sugar, and about three tablespoons of this pickling spice. Um, we go pretty heavy on it because we're gonna cook it down and it's gonna have to get divided up among this many jars. So these jars, there's about one onion and one jalapeno in every jar. So I chopped up five onions and five jalapenos. And then I put the cilantro and jalapeno on the bottom. That's all that is. A little bit of cilantro, one diced jalapeno, and then I packed the red onion on top of that as much as I could fit in there. I sliced it with a mandolin so it was gonna be all kind of uniform. But these are 16 ounce uh, jars. And I'm hoping that 32 ounces of liquid will be enough to go over uh, this much onion. If it's not, I'll just cook some more. Um, but the mixture that goes in there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it up to a bowl, let it boil for about 60 seconds and then kill it and let it cool off. I'm not gonna let it cool to room temperature. I wanna put it in there while it's still a little bit warm so that whenever these go in the refrigerator and cool off, it'll uh, kind of vacuum seal itself because it'll, um, it'll suck that lid down when it cools. So when you open them up, it'll pop and do that, you know, canning type of thing. But this isn't canning. This is not gonna make something that lasts forever. This These will keep for months in the refrigerator. I mean, I, I'm, I'm fill them up, put them in the refrigerator, and I usually eat them in a week. Um, so they're not, they don't last long anyways, but cook your mixture, let it cool, pour it over your contents, which is just one whole onion, some cilantro and some jalapeno. I don't put anything else in there. I don't do any kind of other seasoning other than everything that's already in the, uh, the pickling spice. And there's the ingredients. This is kind of, they're all similar. The, um, if you look over in the canning section, there's pickling spice that's real similar to this. It's made by Ball. Um, but anyways, I don't strain those out of there. I leave all that stuff and it just all goes right in, right in the jar. And uh, I, don't, I don't really eat it while I'm eating the pickles. All, all you're gonna eat out of it, not the pickles, I mean the onions. All you're gonna eat out of it is the red onion and the jalapeno. All right, so I transferred it after I brought it up to a bowl. I transferred it over into a pitcher. I use this pitcher because it's got this real pointy um, lip right there. But uh, I transferred it over to the pitcher so I could not make a mess everywhere because this stuff is sticky when it cools off. And then I just filled them up to the brim, put the lids on them, and you can see the little tab is puffed out right now. But once you put these in the refrigerator and that liquid cools off, that's gonna um, go to go to this position where it's down like that. And when you crack them open, it'll pop just like you're opening something that's been sealed um, for canning. But anyways, these are gonna go in the refrigerator and then I'll show you what uh, the finished product will look like. Okay, so this is what you, the end result is. This is liquid gold right here. So this is some that I made about two weeks ago. After you take it from the boiled mixture, top them off, put them in the refrigerator, let them soak, this liquid, I think it's pretty ready to eat when it's pink. I mean, as soon as it turns completely pink like this, um, the, the juice, I start eating it. Um, and it's, I mean, it's like a good, if you go to barbecue joints in Texas, These, uh, you know, you always see red onions or pickled onions as a side, but they don't taste like this. This is like, uh, I don't know. This is more of like, a, it almost is like bread and butter, the the pickles, but it's red onions. And it's, it tastes a lot cleaner to me. It doesn't have as bad of a strong of an aftertaste as eating actual pickles. I'd rather eat this than actual, you know, thick sliced pickles. It's still crunchy. It doesn't taste like strong like onions. Um, 
It just tastes super clean. I guess it's the cilantro. And also rinse the onions. Rinse them. I rinse them in warm water. Toss them. Get them super clean. And then rinse them in cool water. Because you don't want to soften them up. You don't want to cook them. Or they won't be crunchy. Just rinse the onions really, really good. I don't know if that takes some of the some of the bite out of it. Or if it's just a liquid does that. But you can, um, you know... Even people that don't like onions, my, my wife doesn't like red onions and she said this was good. So um, I haven't fed it to my kids yet, but I eat this with everything. In the summertime, it's hot. It's about a million degrees. I promise you, this is not a cooking channel. So I'm gonna turn it into a cooking channel, but my trolling motor is broken. It's so hot outside. There's nothing else to do. I mean, I'm not gonna, make videos of me watering my lawn because that's about what I do every day, but it's that hot right now. And there's not much else to do except for make some stuff. Like I just started making these this summer because my jalapenos plants were making so many jalapenos that the jalapenos were wilted. And I needed something to do with it. So, um, I ate some barbecue, that's some pickled onions. And I was like, it's gotta be easy enough to make pickled onions. And sure enough, it's super easy. And I like, I'm not just saying this because they're mine, but I like this a lot better than what you get. I think whenever they're throwing them together at a restaurant, they're just kind of making them as fast as they can. It's vinegar and pickles, and that's about it. The combination of that spice, the cilantro, the jalapeno in there, um, you could add more jalapeno, and it'd probably be a lot hotter. But uh, I just put one in there because I didn't know who was going to be eating it. I, I'll see if my kids like it. If my kids don't, that's fine. I'll keep making it for myself. But... Um, it's just, to me, it's great. I've ate it so far with, I mean, every night I sit down and eat dinner and I'll put some on my plate and eat it. It's not real strong. Um, and it's in, it's not, I didn't grow any. The only thing I grew was the jalapeno. I went to the grocery store and got the cilantro and the onion. And I think rinsing the onion off is a big part of it. Uh, wash the onion in a colander, rinse it off really good. And then, um, man, just a clean, fresh snack. Uh, better to me, I like it better than eating pickles because pickles can get kind of overwhelming at times. But um, there's not much aftertaste. There's not much, um, you know, there's not much to it. But it's clean and and fresh. And when you're eating barbecue in the summertime, uh, it's just a good side. Throw some throw some ribs, throw some uh, potato salad and some of this on a plate, and uh, that's a pretty good meal to me. But anyways. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.